Welcome to the video series where I go ahead and test out Minecraft TikTok hacks and see if they're true or if they're just fake. You guys have tagged me in a lot of pretty good TikToks to test out today. But guys, don't forget to tag me in more for future videos of this. If there's any TikToks you're unsure if they're true or false, then just go ahead and tag me at Real Henry, and I'll be sure to check them out in my next video. Now, if you guys do learn something from this video or want this series to continue, then go ahead and show me your love with a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into our very first TikTok hack. Okay, so the first TikTok hack here is from Shark. Bait. Okay. Oh no way. Okay, so you can put heads on villagers to like customize them. There's no way this is true. And you can also put pumpkin. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if this is real or if this is fake. Let's go ahead and see this. Okay, so to do this, you guys are gonna need to have the following setup: a couple of dispensers, probably, and then any kind of blocks just to keep your villagers in place, and have ourselves a villager in each of these. We can see that we can actually go ahead and put armor on the villager, and it is now out of the Spencer, it is actually on the villager. And this will protect the villager. Now, these don't actually show up on the villager, but in this video, it says that the heads in Minecraft do. So we have a player head, we have a zombie head, and now let's get ourselves a dragon head and let's see if these work. Let's start with a zombie head. No way. Oh my goodness. This is so good. Okay, so if you guys want to spice up your village or spice up your trading hall a little bit, then go ahead and throw some heads on your villagers. Honestly, I might do this in Camp Minecraft. I might have to make all of my villagers have dragon heads because this is looks way too funny. <laughs> Look at him looking at the lectern. And yeah, you can just trade with them just the same, even if they have heads or don't. Oh, that, that Steve one looks very menacing. Let's go ahead and check out the next TikTok hack. And this next TikTok here comes from Kalu Play, showing us five things we didn't know about the Caves and Cliffs update. So one, stalactites get stronger the higher they are, that's obvious. Two, you can collect snow from cauldrons now. And then three, wait, you could duplicate amethyst? Hold on. And they they definitely change the textures as well. Okay, okay. So that's four different things. Three of them we already know. Because if we hop into Minecraft and check, check out the compass and the clock, we can see that they are definitely different textures to the ones that we had in the previous update, which look a lot better if you ask me. We've also tested out the stalactites that they do get stronger the higher up they are. If we drop one off of this elevator that we made, then it will do a lot of damage the higher it falls from. So in that case, it did a lot of damage, but if we do it from even higher up, it will probably end up killing them. Poor guy. Now this last one, I'm not too sure about. The fact that you can duplicate amethyst just doesn't seem right. So let's get ourselves a sticky piston. So if we get these amethyst clusters, you can literally use silk touch to get these. Get ourselves a lever and they seem to just break off. Okay, so I've gone ahead and created the entire setup that they have in the video and it looks like it got patched because even with the machine going, there's not duplicating amethyst anymore. So it might have got patched or I'm making this wrong, but I did set it up from as much as I could. And it seems like this one might just be a myth or it's just been patched. Okay, so this next one is a clip from Skip the Tutorials video. Yeah, they used to break whenever you knocked into them or even lily pads. Yeah, they were really annoying. Okay. No way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So you can actually get boats to break like they used to? We got we got to try this thing out. Okay, so I've set up the machine he was talking about, and I'm going to place down a boat on each of them. Basically, the idea is if we do that and then quickly retract them before they fall back down, they're meant to break... Oh, uh, what? Wait, hold on. I literally didn't even know that you could still break boats like this. They bounce and then they bounce a second time and just break. Because you can literally fly boats off things and they won't break. So this is quite crazy that you can still break boats into sticks and blocks. Who would have known? Our next TikTok hack comes from Blend Digi and he shows us how to make a working toaster design. So apparently it works and you can make a toaster out of it. So you put a armor stand into a dispenser that's on top of a stone cutter with a skeleton head on top. And then the skeleton head shows through the countertop. Got it. Then you get a arm, uh, a item frame with a dragon head in it. Rotate it. And it looks like the button's on a toaster and also it's got some toast in it. And then to make it functionable, you just put a dispenser behind, fill it up with bread, and it's good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out and see if this works in the latest version of Minecraft. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and set this bad boy up. So we have our countertop just here like you would in your normal Minecraft house. You come up to it, and now we're going to go ahead and start making this thing. So we place down the stone cutter, put our dispenser right here, put a armor stand in it so we can dispense this real quick. And now on top of this, we're going to place ourselves a skeleton skull. We're going to need to use pistons to push this block back down so next up we go ahead and place down the item frame with a dragon head inside and we rotate the dragon head until it's like this so you can see you have your little buttons and you have the little toast sticking out and then last but not least we go ahead and place down our lever and if you're looking at it from 
I guess you have to be a very specific direction. It has to be this side to flick the lever. And that is actually so flush the way that that lever fits right next to the skull. That looks super, super cool. And now we just add the dispenser in the back with a bunch of bread and we should have a walk-in toaster. That is actually such a cool little design and you can't knock it over. You can't mess it up or anything. And if you ever want to use it, just flick it from the sides and you can get all the bread you ever wanted. That is a pretty awesome TikTok hack. Okay, so this next TikTok hack here comes from Kalulu Plays Again, showing us five new useful glitches in Caves and Cliffs. So you can make your own custom end portal by growing the large mushrooms. I think this is actually true because we've tested this out before and you can't break it. I'll test it out again to show you guys. When running the pig, you can actually avoid full damage, but when you're on the pig, just flip in the hot bar like that and you slowly start to fall. Just remember to get off the pig before you land. Okay, you can lock a chest by using the command. We've tested this out before. You can actually lock chests, so that works. And you can use a shield in the nether if you hold up your shield while going through the portal. Okay, and this last one shows you that you can get diamonds or you can see under lava if you have a slab and you break a block. Let's go ahead and test these out. Okay, so here we have our end portal beautiful in everything it does. Now, if you guys are doing this in the real one, make sure that you go ahead and dig out the area that you want to make this thing in. So make sure that you are one, two, three blocks below the portal, just like this. Grow your red mushroom and we have broken the end portal just like that. And you want to do this on all the sides and you just grow all of these and you have yourself a now officially custom portal. You can now replace any of these blocks with whatever you want to make it custom. Or if you want to make it a custom size, you can actually bring it in one more, grow another bad boy, and you can actually start taking away at the portal itself like I just did right there. For example, now we just have a very, very cursed nether portal. Oh boy. Okay, so that first TikTok definitely worked. Now let's try out the pig TikTok, where we go ahead and grab a pig. And if we go off anything tool, which in this case is probably this elevator right here. Get our pig, get on the saddle, get on it with a saddle. Oh, buddy, buddy, you gotta chill, you gotta chill. Okay, and then basically, I think the idea is if we go into survival, we can literally survive any drop if we just go ahead and start walking off. And then, oh my goodness. But basically... We just need to make sure we get off of it before we land. I guess it does take a little bit of practice. This is almost as hard as a dream play. And let's try this again. And get off. Hey! Okay, and this is to show that that chest command does work. Because as you guys can see, this chest is currently locked. But I think, if I can remember this password correctly, I will be surprised. But I think this one is one, two, three, four. And there we go. We can go ahead and get in with any password you want. You just need to name the item, the password. Okay, so we have another portal right here. Now, if I go through with my shield up, let's go ahead and test this theory out. As soon as we go through, we should be now good because... Check that out. We are using it and we can just go ahead and left click whenever we want. Look, I'm left clicking right now. And apparently my shield is just protecting me. I wonder if I can still right click, it will still work. Yep, I can right click and do whatever I want. It's just, I think it's just as soon as I take the shield out of that slot, it goes away. But as of right now, this is pretty overpowered. Nothing with any arrows can shoot me. So if you guys have a shield, make sure to do that next time you go through a portal. Because the nether is always a dangerous place. Okay, so we've gone ahead and hidden some diamonds under there. So now basically what we should be able to do, as said by this video, is make it so the lava is kind of flowing like this. Place a slab above it, and then as long as you have fire resistance, you can definitely see under the lava. Look at that, I'm holding spacebar and I can see directly where those diamonds are, and then go ahead and mine them. Just make sure they don't burn. Okay, so this next TikTok is one so many of you guys tagged me in. I had to scroll through my notifications for ages to even find another video, because so many of you guys tagged me in this. And I'm already sensing something a little bit sus about it, because there's a few things going on in the video, okay? Let's just go ahead and watch it. First of all, the way that villager is moving looks like a player. Like, the legs usually aren't animated like that, when a villager moves in game. This is how a villager usually moves. If he is moving, he'll move his legs ever so slightly. Not that fast. But hey, let's go ahead and open to a new world just for the sake of the video. Okay, so I'm in a completely normal world and we have ocean level, which is usually the sea level, which if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves an axolotl, a lever with a piston and set up a system like he had. So what we should be able to see here is an axolotl starts spinning. Now, I'm not sure about you guys, but this axolotl isn't spinning. He's just swimming away. Anyway, this video is fake. It's either I've been using mods or they coded it somehow. Anyway, let's go ahead and test out our final TikTok for today because this one seems pretty awesome. All right, so this next TikTok is from Crazy Great because they're talking about 1.18, which is the next update, saying it is the best update ever because apparently 
they threw in an insane feature that the community has been asking for for years, and that is being able to stack slabs. So we're going to test this out on the newest sniper shot that's out, and apparently you can actually just stack slabs on top of each other. I know we've been able to do this before with the border, but apparently you could just do it like this, like he does in the video. So we're gonna go ahead and test this out, see if this actually works on the new snapshot, and if it does, I'm gonna have my mind blown. Okay, so right now we are in the latest snapshot version. I'm just gonna make a normal world, just come in there and creative, and let's see if this works. Because if it works, this is a game changer for all of Minecraft building that has ever existed. People have been asking for this for literally years, like he said in the video. And here we are in the brand new 1.18 world with all the new caves. If this works, I will be incredibly impressed right now. Okay, slab one. I really thought I didn't get scammed for once. I was like, there's no way this actually works. And... I, I should have stuck to my gut. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out this awesome 1.18 terrain dude. I can't wait to start playing on this on this version of Minecraft. It just looks so amazing. I mean, look at how beautiful everything is now. But apparently they just, they still can't add slabs. You know, I, I don't get it. Why can't we stack slabs on top of each other? Why Minecraft, why? But anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's video, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really helps me out and lets me know that you guys are enjoying the videos. And also subscribe if you guys aren't already because I upload videos like this all the time on the channel. So if you guys want to learn things that are new about Minecraft that you might have not known, then go ahead and hit that sub button. Now, without further ado, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys all again next time. Peace.